As you know, Muslims don't dare to debate us when we challenge them for a debate on YouTube. And unfortunately, their Muslim leaders are either silent or are hiding from us in the bushes. They are too scared to lose their face and be out of job if you refute them in a public discussion. But Muslims, the keyboard jihadis they are, will comment under our videos in the comment section. But when they do that, they show us their stupidity and foolishness in their comments. Now I received a comment from a Muslim, let us read it. Zayn Sadiq commented, Hey, tell me if Jesus was God's son. What is the relation of Mary with the father? Does that make her God's wife? After all, she gave birth to God's son. Zayn Sadiq says and asks, now try not to laugh about this very question. <laughs> now when you see such foolish questions asked by Muslims, you will start to wonder and ask yourself what this desert Arab cult that was created around 1400 years ago by a so-called illiterate desert Arab has done to these poor people's minds. This proves how these poor backward Muslim victims of Muhammad are still kept ignorant and stupid by their leaders in 2020. Their leaders brainwashed them to be nothing but brain dead zombies. But lately we see a lot of apostates of Islam who can think for themselves. And Imam Bilal Phillips from Canada says, The rise of apostasy. People are leaving Islam at unprecedented rates. The narrative of Islam being the fastest growing religion is no longer true. The Muslim community is now in damage control from this new threat. Dr. Bilal Phillips in a recent Friday sermon openly has warned the Muslim community that apostasy will come like a tsunami. And if we don't take constructive steps to deal with this, it is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over. Now, when you are born into this cult, you automatically inherit the ignorance of Islam and the prophet of Islam if you don't do your own research to see if Muhammad actually lied or not. Shouldn't you as a Muslim in 2020 ask questions like, could the prophet of Islam be wrong about certain things? Hmm. In Islam, Allah can only have a son through sexual intercourse. If we go to chapter 6, ayah 101, 101 of the Quran, we can read, How can he, i.e. Allah, have a son when he never had a girlfriend, a sahiba? Here in chapter 6, ayah 101, Allah, we know it's Muhammad, attacks the deity of Christ, but at the same time shows his ignorance about the biblical Jesus. Does any Christian actually believe that God had sex with Mary? No, God forbid that would be a major insult to our holy God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. It's utter blasphemy, a blatant lie. So here we can see the ignorance of the Prophet of Islam. Muhammad thinks that Christians believe that God had sex with Mary. God forbid, which is nothing but pure blasphemy and a huge insult to a holy living God. Point number two, this explains the foolishness of the prophet of Islam about the biblical real Jesus Christ. And by the way, there is no Isa, his real name in Arabic is Yesu al-Masih. That's what we Arabic speaking Christians call him, Yesu al-Masih. So who is Isa? We just found out that Muhammad and his Allah are clueless or either liars about the deity of the biblical Christ and what Christianity truly teaches about the relationship of the Father and the Son in the Holy Bible. Muslims, it is time for you to start thinking for yourself. 
and a big chance that you might leave this cult after doing your own research instead of listening to the lies of Muhammad and the deceivers that you call Imams and scholars of Islam. Please. We just showed you one mistake in the Quran. And when we can find such a huge mistake about the biblical Jesus, this already crumbles Islam and destroys Islam. I want the Muslims to see that Allah and His Prophet were not right about the biblical Jesus. They are actually ignorant and this proves that Muhammad was an ignorant and ignoramus Arab desert 1400 years ago. Please share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. This video is the final nail on the coffin of Muhammad. Thanks for watching and God bless.